Hey you guys, welcome back to Southern Latitudes. I'm Robin and this is primarily a gardening channel, although you see some of our hobbies and family pop up once in a while. Um, but I have noticed a common question that seems to be happening uh, right about this time of year on some of the gardening channels. And it is, what do I have here? Is it broccoli or is it cauliflower? And we've all been in that same boat. A seed, perhaps, falls uh, out of your hand as you're going to put it in a certain cell and it ends up over here or over there. And it happens to the best of us. Um, even seed companies sometimes have little switcheroos and accidents and boo-boos. So I just thought we would kind of go through and um, go through what I have here in the garden. So I have cauliflower, I have different cabbages, and I have some broccoli. And I thought it might be kind of a cool little, um, just neat thing to walk through when you see um, vegetables. I hope, I hope to dear goodness, that it picks it up on this camera. One of the first things I look for when, I, when I'm trying to see it, if it, I got a boo-boo or not, is is the leaf a little bit longer, more oval? But over here on my broccoli, it's a little bit wider than oval. In fact, let's just go ahead and do something. Something I don't usually do. Let's pick these leaves and put them down directly side by side. Ah, see? Now look there. This one's probably not any narrower of an oval than this one. But in my mind it was. Now I've always thought broccoli have more curls in them, but that's not necessarily true. This cauliflower right here seems to be more curly than this one. So perhaps there's some variation within. Now these other cauliflowers don't have as much of a curly leaf as say all those broccolis. So just know that sometimes you'll have one a little bit straighter than the other. But one thing you can definitely tell the difference between a broccoli and a cauliflower is the broccoli has a lot more blue to its green. You see that? You can even pick that up on camera here. And then the cauliflower is just straight up green. The vein here is a little bit thicker, but that might vary, right? Between varieties and types and then even within a variety. But you can definitely tell that color apart. So what are you gonna do when they're young? I don't have too many young cauliflowers still because most everything's grown up, but you can still see that color in a little one. That's a smaller transplant. Here's a broccoli about the same age. Um, it's a little less blue at this stage, but it still has a much more curlier leaf and maybe not quite as oval. Although, as we, I just pointed out, you can't always count on the oval to be the dead giveaway. So, it's usually a couple things you're looking for, like the frill, the color, the veinage, uh, the shape. Let's come over here since we have three different varieties of cabbages and compare them with our broccoli and our cauliflower leaf. Some, you know, as a seedling, they can look very, very similar. Now, if you have like a red acre cabbage or something like that, you'll definitely see a little difference in the veinage. That might be your key giveaway. But like this is the early golden. This is a dead on. This is a red acre. And I notice in general, the leaves are definitely rounder in a cabbage. Also, see how the cauliflower puts out shoots before the leaf? Cabbage doesn't tend to do that. The leaf comes right off the base. Now the dead on's a little different, so there's variation. In the red acre, red acre, uh, red things in general for me usually take slower time to, to um, mature. I just have noticed that. It may not be true to every case, but definitely in, in cabbage and in lettuce, my darker colored uh, leaves and greens in the winter are a little slower to mature. 
Now the early girl is really well developed because as it says, it's early, it's faster maturing. But I think that's pretty neat. So I've been telling you guys this for a while. This is my row of cabbages. And I do have them alternating different varieties in here. Just for fun, especially for this site right here where I can use this as a demonstration. And I like them have like to have them side by side. So I'm looking over here, been looking at it for a couple days going, that doesn't look like cabbage. So I had a seed jump, seed jump trays, and I have, can you guess? I'm not gonna make you take a test like last time. Which one do you think it is? Do you think broccoli? Cause that's what I'm thinking it is. I think we have a broccoli in the cabbage row. But that's pretty cool. It doesn't really matter to me. It's right next to the other broccoli. What if you don't have cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, but you had a Brussels sprout mistake? Could you tell the difference in that one too? <laughs> Ooh, the chickens are getting mad. Here's what you can tell with Brussels. So they have a rounder leaf, just like a cabbage, but they're a little bit more blue, like a broccoli. But look, they come off the stem more also kind of like a broccoli but you will see something you don't see at all with broccoli and you'll get these little mini leaves if you will right in here that's how you know that's a brussels sprout coming on and within the brussel yeah right at the tip of my finger you'll see a little dot and that's where your brussels sprout buds are going to come from so there you go. There's another little difference. Also looks very same in the brassica family. They're very hard to tell, especially if you didn't have a side-by-side -side comparison. But if you're like me and you see big cell trays and all of a sudden you had one jump ship and go to the other spot, you could be able to tell, hopefully with some of these clues. So I hope you guys found something interesting and you learned something in this video. So take care, God bless, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.